Welcome loyalty squad. This is the Velvet Locks coming at you again with another hair video. Now, as you can see, I colored my locks and now I'm in the process of rinsing it to get it ready for an extension. Okay, so I want to show you today how I'm going to do an installation on my, my, on my hair. Now, as you can see, there are some baby locks spread throughout my hair, okay? So these are the culprits that's going to get some work done to them today. So the color hair that I got was a blonde color. I forgot the name of the blonde. It's like a blonde color, a, a, a dark blonde color, cherry blonde or something like that. So I colored it with the Adore wild cherry and mixed with raging red so my extensions are that color so of course you know a girl needed a touch up so trying to get these edges done and deepen the color of my own locks just so that when i install the extensions everything will be uniform so let me wash this out and in the next clip you will see me installing the locks especially when you have baby locks and you're trying to make them more uniform so See you in the next clip. All right, you guys, so I am back and I'm gonna show you how I um, add my extensions in my hair. Now, I did a video yesterday um, on the extensions that I got in the mail. I didn't create these myself, although I do know how to make these myself. But I got 10, or should I say I ordered 10 extensions from a company on the internet and I got it yesterday and what I needed to do to start off was to color it my color hair so I colored it the, the color that I normally color my hair and this is a mixture of raging red and cherry blossom okay from Adore now I have several baby locks throughout my hair okay I got at least 10 of them which is why I only ordered 10 so I got them throughout my hair and I'm gonna add in these extensions today just to make them more uniformed okay and this way they're not sticking out of my styles see there's two of them on this side so I have a bunch of them in my head and they're at a certain length now that it's time for them to be uniformed. Okay, they're strong enough and they're sealed. So now it's just a matter of me finding a size that would work with the small locks that I have because my locks are pretty much considered micro. They're small. When you're adding an extension onto your lock, it's always best to find one the same size and diameter of your lock or you're going to end up putting a heavy extension onto a very light lock. And that is going to be the dilemma I'm working with right now. So although this is slightly bigger, I'll probably add this into onto this lock. Now normally what I do is I normally just sew the lock on. See they left out the end part so I guess if you're braiding your hair like if you have locks like starter locks, baby locks, you're able to I guess braid this onto your baby lock but I don't need so much of this right here on the end so. I'll probably take this extension all the way up to the top. Okay. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is stitch it going down to the lock itself, attaching it on there. So, let me show you the needles that you can use. Now, you can use a weave needle which is like this. It's like a half hook or looks like a hook and I usually use my black spool thread only because only because if I use red it's and I need to change my hair another color the thread is not going to really take so I usually use black but yeah you can either use a hook 
or you can just use a regular sewing needle like this and I'll be using my regular sewing needle I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the loose part all right so I'm gonna take it all the way up to the part that is able to get stitched now you could tie a knot at the end of your thread if you choose to and you just sew in and out attaching your lock and the lock together see it came out all right now when you don't do it with a with a knot at the end you just got to be real careful how you stitch okay now I'm gonna do it a few times before actually pulling it really tight and the only reason why I like the straighter needle is because it goes directly through the the lock okay so now that now it's actually attaching and I can just continue going in and out with my stitches And you just keep going in and out. Okay, so I'm going to finish going in and out with my stitches, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have finished stitching the lock on. All right, and it looks like that. Okay, it's not going to look... Well, mine doesn't look the greatest. I have some loose strings still attached there. And you can just trim those strings off. Okay, and then I need a, uh, um, to do a, um, what you call it, a, um, a retwist anyway, so I'm just going to trim off all of the excess strings, the threading actually. Okay. Now, it may look a little awkward because I didn't wrap it around, but this is the gist. And eventually, as it gets, um, as it, you know, it, it gets retwisted in with it and everything, it becomes one with the lock. But that's how I, re that's how I attached, attach my locks, okay? So this one is actually a two-tone, only because now my locks are different in color. My roots are more darker, but eventually it blends in, and you will you won't even notice the difference. But yeah, it's standing out now because the color is more vibrant and bright, being that it's new. All right, but that's how I attach my locks. So I'm gonna do this other one, and. Being that it's already started, I don't need the end part, so I'm just going to trim that part off. Okay, that's what I did before. Trim it off, pull it up a little bit, and then 
I'm going to probably take this all the way up again. Okay. And then stitch it going around it. It's going to be a two-tone color because of the locks. So I'm just going to attach this on to this one the same way. And yeah, let me show you. All right, so I am back from threading my thread. And I'm just going to take my lock and also do a side-by-side -side stitching of this one. So I'm going to stick the, the, the needle through my lock and through the top part of my lock that's actually sealed. And I'm just going to let that much of my thread hang because I didn't knot it. So I'm just going to do a back and forth stitching in my lock until it gets tight and then I'm going to pull it tight. So I'm just going to do a back and forth attaching the extension through my lock. I'm going to do a back and forth stitching of that until it gets really tight and secure towards the base. And I'm just going to go up a little bit, tighten the top part, secure that down. And one thing I like with using the straight needle is that you can pretty much blindly feel your way through without actually seeing what you're doing. Okay, so now I'm just going to continue down the lock now until my lock is actually attached to to the extension Okay. All right, you guys. So I am finished. I'm down at the end of the lock. And you just break the string or cut the string, whichever way is easiest. Okay. Now I'm just going to fix this part right here because it does look a mess okay but what I normally do is I normally just wrap that around the hair okay and then I stitch it You could even make a, a, a knot where the needle goes through it like a needle knot. Where the needle goes through it and it makes a knot. It brings that end in, into like a closure. So you just bring the thread, the needle through the, the stitch and then wrap the loop over that and it creates a nice little tight closure okay like so okay. 
Okay. I'm going to try it again, see if I can get it for the camera to see. Yeah, this is a little bit too small, but I got it through. All right, like so. And then you just snip the threading and whatever loose threads that you may still have hanging. You just snip those loose threads off. Okay. And then as your hair needs retwisting, you will be actually retwisting around that top part of the lock area, bringing it all the way down and over the lock. And there it is, your attachment. Now in the beginning it may look a little harsh, but just know that as your hair grows in, it will be more uniformed and the color blends. If it was the same exact color, you wouldn't be able to see the difference. But being that I have newly fresh colored hair on top of old, uh, you know, colored hair, you're able to see the difference. Now, if it was one solid like black or brown color, then you wouldn't be able to tell the difference of where my lock started from where it ended. But being that I have this different color and it's red, you can tell the difference in, in the locks, okay? But thank you so much for joining me. I hope this kind of helped those of you who are newbies and you're trying to experiment on your hair, save yourself from some money, and you're trying to do your own extensions. Well, you can actually sew your lock extensions on if you're not familiar with the way of, of um, you know, putting it on through the, the hook, with the hook. I'm going to show you the other way in another video, but until then, you guys, yes, that's the end of this video, okay? So if you want to see more lock maintenance videos of things you can do to help, um, say, if your locks are weak in a certain area, list them down below, and I'll bring more of these types of videos out to you, okay? So until the next video, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that like button which is the thumbs up button. Also, share these videos with your friends and family who are locked and who are also looking for different ways of doing your own maintenance and, and self-care, okay? On your own hair, all right? So, you guys, until the next video, I will see you then.